Hey guys, welcome back to Tease TV. Today I'm going to be doing my TWA wash routine on this dusty crusty here. Y'all see it. Um, my hair is color treated, of course, so this is going to be very um, like a moisturizing type of wash routine that I've been doing for the past several months. Um, I start by, of course, making sure that I'm using warm water. I notice that if I use hot water, um, it's very drying to my hair, so I make sure that you know the water is very warm um, and I'm basically just taking out or removing like any excess product that I've had in my hair whether it be like gel or you know any type of oil or moisturizer I've been having um, for the last hairstyle I'm just trying to like move my you know move my hair around kind of remove any of that product that I as much as I can I think that this way it kind of helps me to not you know, um, have to wash my hair several times and, you know, have my hair drying out. Now, I think that this will be, um, this routine will be changed after a while because I've noticed that I want to actually, like, start using other products besides my Texture ID. Um, I love it very much, but I think in the future I'm going to be actually changing this wash routine. So just stay up to date or just make sure that you have the no um, bell notification on so that you know what's going on. All right, so I'm starting out with my Texture ID um, conditioner. Um, like I said, I've been using these products for a long time and it's very moisturizing. Oh, girl, put that conditioner up. <laughs> um, so yes, this conditioner is very thick um, and it has a lot of slip as you can see. Um, and I started with the conditioner because of course I have color treated hair, so I wanna make sure that I'm not going to be stripping away too much moisture from my hair when I shampoo it. So starting off with a pre-poo is very, very helpful. Um, and I'm just basically just working it through my hair. I took a little bit more because I want to make sure that I really work in the conditioner at this point. Now I'm going to take my brush. I actually just started using this brush. I normally use my Tingle Teaser, but I saw this at Dollar Tree and one of my um, friends I follow on social media, she actually uses this brush rod so decided to take it for a spin. And it's actually really nice. Um, it detangles my hair very well. I think it's called the Shampoo, ooh I forgot what it's called, but I'll leave um, a link in the description box below. So at this point I'm basically just detangling my hair, just making sure I get all the knots and you know everything out. Um, and I'm not really combing it in any type of way. I honestly just comb it like in the direction that my hair kind of grows. Um, and also just like in a way that I know I can detangle my hair because I've noticed that the shorter my hair is like in the back, it's kind of hard to detangle with a brush, especially like a flat brush. A comb might be more effective, but I don't feel like using a comb. So, um, yeah, I'm just brushing it down, brushing it out. And as y'all can see, look at the slippage, y'all. Like, it is just this slip. I said slippage. I don't even know that's a word. But, like, this slip is everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this all out. And I'm basically gonna make sure that I do the same thing like I did before when I was um, just rinsing out my hair in the beginning. I'm just gonna make sure I rinse out all the product by moving it around. You know, I like to use the tip of my fingers. I don't really have long nails, so I use the tip of my fingers just to kind of like rub my scalp in a way um, and move the hair around. This kind of helps me out. Um, it's very easy. I, I'm not really like, I'm not too harsh on my hair. So this really helps we, me get out all the product that I can. Now I'm going to go in with my shampoo, the Texture ID shampoo. This right here, y'all, is mad moisturizing. Like, if you're looking for a collection that will moisturize your hair, this is it. So, as you can see, like, look at this, y'all. So I do use a lot of shampoo um, because I'm only going to be shampooing my hair once. I always shampoo my hair once unless I, like, went with a, you know, a style that I lasted for, like, uh, more than a week. But... This right here, it's very lathering, as you can see. 
Now I'm just gonna be using my fingertips to massage my scalp. Um, I love this part, y'all. This is like one of my favorite parts to do. Um, just to make sure that I get all the blood circulation flowing. And, um, and I don't like to scratch my scalp. I feel like that's really harsh for my hair and my scalp. So I do like a little bit of scratching, but for the most part, I just like to massage my scalp and kind of make sure that um, the shampoo is doing what it needs to do. And um, yeah, it works for me. So, you know, like shampooing my hair is like one of the easiest things to do with my hair being this short. It literally takes me no more than 10 minutes to do this process. Of course, like I have to do my deep conditioning, which will come up soon. But um, y'all, I love, I love having short hair. So I'm just going back in with warm water again and just, you know, removing all the shampoo out before I do my deep condition. Now I'm going in with my Deep Mask Texture ID Conditioner. And um, this right here is so thick. Like, I think this whole entire collection is really thick, but I'm gonna use just a little bit. A little bit does go a long way. I think I'm gonna go back in actually and add some more. Um, but I'm just gonna put it all throughout my hair. I'm not really working it in my scalp. I'm really just focusing more on the ends and um, the shaft of my hair. So I'm just really just rubbing it all in there before I go in and comb it um, and detangle it. So I'm really, like I said, I'm not focusing too much on my roots because I've noticed that if I do put the deep conditioner or, or the conditioner on my roots, I start to have like a buildup already. So don't do that. And I'm just gonna make sure that I detangle it very well. Ooh, yeah, this is where I need it more, yeah. So I decided to put more on the top. I noticed that my hair gets a lot more dry like from the middle to um, the top of my hair. I don't know why, but that's why I noticed I had to put more conditioner sometimes. Look at, this is one pass, y'all. Look at that. And this breast is really doing its thing. Like for $1, it does a really great job at not snagging my hair, it's detangling my hair. It does a really great job. So at this point, I'm really just gonna be combing my hair down. I noticed that um, whenever I deep condition my hair, um, I like to make sure that my hair is kinda all going in the same direction. Look at the back of my hair, y'all. Them curls are popping. But anyway, so um, I just like to make sure that I'm combing it all in one direction and um, just kind of smoothing it out because by the time, depending on what hair cell I do, um, this really helps with my, my curls to pop after I, you know, rinse it out, so. Like this conditioner is so thick that I'm literally laying my hair down. That's, that's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my shower cap and I'm gonna actually deep condition my hair for 30 minutes underneath the hair dryer. And I wanna make sure that I cover all of my hair too. All right, and 30 minutes are done, and my hair look crazy as heck, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out with cold water. Now, I normally do this in the sink, but since I'm on the video, or since I'm doing this video, I decided to do it in the shower, but I use cold water to rinse it, and y'all, it is mad cold. Like, I can't even take it. As you can see, I'm over here breaking my neck trying to do this, but um, I don't like to touch my hair when I first rinse it out. Um, this really is um, this method is really good like if you're doing like a wash and go um, But I start off by just letting the water just run down and then I'll use my hands to kind of like 
I guess you would call it the plopping method, but this is since I have short short hair, um, I'm basically just squeezing it out. This really helps to not like get my hair to be detangled again or to be tangled again. And um, also it's like, you know, still gets the, the product out. Y'all, I really don't want this water to touch my back. <laughs> That's funny. Now with a, a moisturizing deep conditioner, I like to make sure that I rinse all of it out. I know some people like to leave a little bit in depending on what style they do, but I like to leave it. I like to rinse it all out because I do not want any buildup for the week. And as you can see, my scalp is like squeaky clean. Now I'm just gonna take a 100% cotton t-shirt and just wrap my hair up. And I'm done. I'm just gonna let it sit um, in this t-shirt for maybe about 30 minutes to make sure that um, it soaks up as much water and it keeps it moisturized and then I'll style it as desired. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out all my other videos um, that's gonna be coming up soon. Love y'all, bye.